Okay, today we're we'll reviewing the Expandables 2, and I'm surprised we won't have gave this one a good review. The Expandables 2 is better than the first. Yes, for once a sequel is actually better than the first. The Expandables 2 is basically, despite being less one time than the first movie, is better than the movie. The first movie. The first movie was basically good, it had a lot of good action scenes and stuff. But basically, they have to go to. They have to seek revenge for the comrades' murder, and they basically have to basically be all these bad guys as well. And yeah, and of course, one of the best scenes in the movie is, of course, the scene where Chuck Doris appears or Booker in the movie. And yeah, that's probably the best scene of, of the movie, and probably the most iconic scene of any of this series' history. The fact that they have Chuck Doris in this movie. It's basically a achievement in the health of this franchise. And yeah, there is a third movie, but I have not seen it yet. So yeah, I'll probably plan on seeing it pretty soon. But yep, most of the read of Bonnie Watts and read Chris Bryce and Joy the West of the Spiral Scene United when Mr. Church hired him for an easy job. But I'm not going to spoil the movie for you. There's a lot of good action scenes in this movie, a lot of good fight scenes in this movie. Especially the foul fight where he fights the martial art guy. Who, the guy is a good martial artist in real life, so I call him the martial arts guy. He, that scene is pretty great, and they have to fight as well. They have to fight, they have a little path of fighting against each other at the end of the movie. And the movie is pretty great. There's a lot of good, you know, action scenes. The story is decent. The characters are good. I think this movie overall is an 8 out of 10. An improvement over the first movie. So, that's basically about this video. Goodbye.